Hey, welcome back. I'm Brandon Lee, and this is going to be a video about the tripod and the monopod that I'm using to film myself right now. These are part of YC Onion's new Panetta system. This is the fastest tripod and monopod system that I've ever tried out. So this is a sponsored video, but I'm only doing it because I'm genuinely excited about how much faster I can work with this new system. Now let's set up a few different shots to show you how the system works. The main thing that makes the YC Onion Panetta Peak tripod special is how fast you can set it up for a shot. So let's go try it out in the real world. Now I want to take you through setting up a shot with the Panetta tripod on the street. So first of all, here's the bag that the Panetta tripod comes in. So it's a, a loose, soft fitting bag. So you can actually fit extra stuff in here and it's not really a problem. So I would unzip it like this. I would bring out the tripod, set the legs however I want, and set it up. Next, I'm going to do the quick release plate. So here it's already loosely in place on my camera, but let's say it needs a little tightening up. Well, there's a magnetic uh, hex key that's already in the head of the tripod that I just pull out like this, and then I can tighten this up. And just make sure that that's not gonna slip around. Then I put my hex key back into the tripod, and I drop my camera into place, and I just screw that in, and now it's locked down. And let's say I'm going for a really high angle shot, so I'm gonna raise up my center column all the way up like that, and then I just loosen up these legs, lift it up like that, and I'm looking at my ball level. Okay, it's nice and level, and just lock everything off. I'm adjusting the handle to my liking, just like that. If you need a little extra reach, then I can extend it like that, and go ahead and get my shot. Do a tilt down. If I'm in a rush to get from place to place, I can use this handle here as a carry handle because it's pretty well balanced. So I just kind of hold it like that horizontally and then I can walk around with it. Now I'm going to do the uneven surface challenge. So I'm out here in the park and I've got my tripod on this boulder. You can see super uneven with most tripods. This would be a really challenging circumstance to try to get a level shot, but I'll show you how it works with the Panetta. So all I have to do is put my legs roughly where I want them, sort of like that, and then unlock them and hold this handle and it'll rise up and then frame up my shot. See, that's a pretty good frame right there. And now I'm just gonna lock all the legs. We're done. So I'm gonna put the coconut bowl in instead of this column so you can see just how low I can get. So now I've installed the coconut bowl and this just lets me adjust my horizon like that and then I can lock it off however I want. And what's great about the coconut bowl is that it allows me to get even lower, so. Here's the minimum height, just inches above the ground. YC Onion also has this tripod head. This is the FH75. This is what I would call a medium duty tripod head. It does provide really smooth panning and tilting. It's a fluid head. But the thing that caught my eye about this tripod head is the quick release. So it's got a fairly typical sort of quick release system, except for one little feature. You can press a switch like that on the head of the tripod that switches it from standard compatibility, so it's compatible with a standard Manfrotto type plate, to DJI RS2, RS3 gimbal compatibility. So then you could use the plate from your DJI RS2 or RS3 gimbal and drop that directly on here and it would latch in perfectly. So that means you could switch seamlessly from your DJI gimbal to the tripod and back without having to switch out the tripod plate. You can also switch out the handle, move it from the right side to the left side if you are so inclined. And otherwise, it's just basically a really solid fluid head. Now let's talk about this monopod. So the YC Onion Panetta monopod uses the same latch system for rapid extension and contraction. So I just brought it down to minimum length, less than a second, and then I can take it back out to maximum, just like that. So there's also an extension that you can put on this that makes it even taller. It's like another meter taller. And how that attaches is through this quick release here. So you can add the extension and then put your camera back on the top in, again, like less than a second. You just do that, put it on, boom, you're done. And there's another way you can use this quick release. If you wanna get a really low angle or like a tabletop shot, all you have to do is release the camera like that and remove the monopod from the base like this. And you can add your camera right there. And now you have a ground level shot. And you even can pan or tilt 
Then when you have exactly the angle you want, you just screw it in and lock it off. Now here's what I really like about the monopod. When I attach it to my gimbal, then I can use it either as a standalone tripod to film myself, and the gimbal sort of automatically levels out my shot, as you can see right now. But the other way that I can use it is as an extension when I'm shooting with the gimbal. So you may have seen me do this before. I can raise it up really high. And then when I'm all done, I can just collapse it down, lock it off, and it's very portable. And the best thing is when I want to shoot with the gimbal without the monopod, it's super quick to release like that. And then I can just shoot with my gimbal and put the monopod back in my backpack. And if I want to reduce the weight while the gimbal's on the monopod, I can just take these feet right off. There are lighter weight monopods that you could use for exactly the same purpose, but the reason you might want to go for something heavier duty, like this Panetta monopod, is if you're trying to use it at full extension. So you see, I'm extended all the way out and there's absolutely no flex whatsoever in the rod. So that means that my shot won't have any bouncing from the monopod and also there's no risk of it, you know, breaking. There's one more component I want to talk about here and that is the nut quick release system that makes it really fast to switch your gear from one support to the other. So let's say I want to move the camera over to the monopod. Well, what I do, since I have the nut quick release adapter installed, is I just unlatch like that, and then I unlatch this one, and then I line up some notches here, drop it on, and that's super secure. And then with this one, I can just line up the notches, drop it on, and that is secure as well. So the nut quick release system is mostly for really heavy duty gear. This is a really, really solid quick release adapter. You could put a slider on here, a time-lapse sort of system, motion control. YC Onion has a lot of that type of product. So that's the nut quick release, and it's not a standard part of the tripod or the monopod. You have to add it as an extra accessory. This has been my overview of the YC Onion Panetta system. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.